This is a real F1 visa interview experience of a student going for a double masters to the US who initially faced a rejection for the fall 22 intake but was able to clear his interview in the second attempt. Keep on watching. One consultancy straight away they said your visa will be rejected there is no chance to go to USA. So finally I left the thought, I left the thought of moving to abroad. Just in one day my life got changed like this. Hi guys, my name is Shachi and I'm a travel and a visa coach. On this channel you'll find lots of useful videos on the US visa process. There is an entire playlist for the fall 22 intake and for August month we've been doing a lot of videos to help you overcome your F1 visa rejection. So make sure that you subscribe and check out all of these videos. Now today's video is a real F1 visa interview experience of Gautam Sabani. Before we start, let's take a quick look at Gautam's profile. Education. So Gautam has completed his BCom in India and Masters in Fintech from Exeter Business School, London and he finished his Masters in 2021. Work experience. He has three years work experience as an analyst in India post his undergrad and after that he has about a year of internship experience post his Masters in London. Admit. His admit is from Southern Illinois University Edwardsville for an MBA program with concentration in analytics. And his funding is through loan and family savings. Just curious to know how many of you are going for a double masters to the US. So if you too are applying for an F1 visa for a double masters, comment below double masters and let me know. Coming back to Gotham's experience, in his first interview which was held in the London Embassy, Gotham was basically asked why this university, why double masters and why US. And in this interview, he faced a rejection. Post this, he did not change his university, but he reworked his profile and the way he presented his work experience plus his reasoning for doing the masters. In fact, Gautam was part of our seven day program. Now the seven day program is a structured program of seven sessions, which essentially gives you end to end prep. We start with understanding your profile, helping you in your DS-160 form and answer structuring for you plus multiple mocks. So if you do want to be part of the seven day program, do check the link in the description box below. Now let's hear from Gautam and understand his interview experience and how he managed to turn a rejection into an approval. Hi, congratulations. <laughs> Hi Chetri, how are you? Good, you tell me, how are you feeling? I am good, I am good. <laughs> Just in one day, my life got changed like this. I came to, I came to the UK in October October 15th, 2020, exactly, to do my master's in fintech from University of Exeter. So I finished my master's in November 2021 with a distinction. Later, I did my internship as a business analyst. I applied for uh, US master's, US MBA basically. I applied for MBA business analytics concentration from SIU University. What was the motivation to do another master's then? Genuinely, like, what was the intent? Actually, it was my dream to move to USA since 2014. So due to I did my CA, unfortunately, I don't know when, when I was doing my undergrad, the, there is a integration course with the CA board with IGNO. I thought I can get that uh, degree just by writing six papers rather than writing 18 papers. Later, I came to know that it is a open degree. It is not a regular degree. So just because of that, I could not move to USA. So I was struggling since 2014. So I, I tried a couple of times to move to another country, but I could not move. So finally, I left of uh, uh, moving to abroad, the thought, I left the thought. Because I thought my uh, in my degree, they are clearly saying it is a 15th January to 15th December. So it's like one year, they are clearly saying. So I found it's really hard to move to another country. But suddenly one of my friends who we both were tried together, but suddenly he called me. He said he is in Australia. So I asked him, why did, how could you move there? So he said it was the same degree, which is valid. It is not that bad. So I thought, okay, let me check now. So I tried in 2019, September, October time. So I found Australia. UK and no chance for Canada since they won't accept for three years degree. So I thought no chance for US as well. So that time I didn't check USA as well. So instead of going to Australia, I found UK is better. So uh, I applied, but unfortunately or fortunately, 
I I got rejected in December attempt. Sorry, January intake of 2020. And later, why I said fortunately because later COVID came. So I would have suffered if I went in 2020 January. Later, yeah, in September I got from one of the top universities in UK, probably top 12 something like that in in the UK University of Exeter. I got admission here. I came here. So I did my masters. I was about to settle in the UK, but somehow I have seen some situations. I don't wanted to compromise my lifetime dream, lifetime goal. So I thought, if I compromise now, I don't know when I will move to the USA. So I thought I kept everything aside. Pass. Okay, let me go to USA. Mm-hmm. I, so this is the age where I should settle down. But I thought, okay, let me take one more step in the career. <laughs> yeah. To move to USA. Yeah. And the first time you gave the interview, you faced a rejection when you yes. came to London. So, what yes. do you think was wrong in that attempt? That time, I did not prepare well, honestly, because uh, uh, I was working and I could not get time. I could not. Uh, I don't know anything. There were nobody to suggest me, guide me, some like that. Everything got dragged until the last minute, like financials and everything, all the documents. So I got stressed. I didn't prepare well, actually. Okay. Yeah. Luckily, I was the second person. The first person got rejected, mm-hmm. and I was in hurry. I didn't. I didn't see that he got rejected. So I heard my name. I went directly inside. It's there is only one counter, as you said. Yeah. Initially, I thought. Or standing. Sorry. Was it sit down or standing? Standing. Okay. Initially, I thought sitting. <laughs> like a normal interview but it is standing but it is closed there is one door so it is closed and suddenly they asked why fintech and what is it why did you do your business analyst internship rather mm. than fintech so yeah. and uh, why did you write gre they asked me so i said no they did not uh, they they said not required because i have foreign affairs of experience as well as uh, a uk masters so it is not required approved <laughs> but he's asked also asked you, know, you only done a masters in london so in uk yeah why yeah. what is yeah what is the change yeah mm-hmm. what is the change and there are many students like you who are already in uk they've done a masters now you can yes. so what advice do you have yeah i found it is not that hard to get the visa but honestly like i heard i don't know how far it is true in london there are many rejections i don't know how far it is true in belfast it is cool like the consulate there there is no rush it is like a small normal room hardly people can sit 20 to 30 people they can sit inside hardly good chances of getting visa as well in okay. belfast up to my knowledge i don't know how far it is true yeah. i got there yeah <laughs> and what was the strategy for the second attempt like yeah. how did you structure this entire preparation like what was your thought initially i thought okay let me uh, i haven't seen much videos of you but i found there is a uh, 750 rupees uh, workshop. Uh, <laughs> session workshop <laughs> okay i forgot that <laughs> workshop i attended that workshop i found it's really good it it's really helpful there is a lot to learn for the visa interview so i thought we sign to a small thing but it is not small thing we need to uh, ca- careful in each and each and every step so i found that in your workshop so i enrolled with your course with the seven day session so it was really really helpful because you took all the information about me because my case is complicated because my graduation is looks like only one year even though it is not one year but it looks like one year and i already did my masters i am in the uk so so this is the second masters i have already international experience we can't say that to going for international experience so you have taken all the inputs and you structured each and every question answers and you helped me how to structure the answers how to uh, deliver them small small corrections as well you did it so as you can say i'm not that uh, fluent in english if i get tensed i might as follow some words as well while <laughs> while giving the interview so i practiced a lot because of you you gave me uh, each and every each and every session there will be few new questions for me i need to prepare them so i have noted on all the questions you can say 
I have written each question three, three to four times oh. in a book. Nice. <laughs> I have written multiple times. I prepared a little bit well. <laughs> I could see session by session things were like yes. getting better. Yes, yes, you could see that. Yeah, you have guided me in DS one sixty as well. How to give the point, uh, job descriptions, and everything. to write point by point like that so you help me in each and every point each and every stage yeah and this is really helpful because there are a lot of like as students already from india already somewhere trying yes. to go to us yeah uh, majority uh, from uk and from australia these are the two main uh, i i can tell you one more thing when i started search, uh, searching uh, contacting consultancies one consultancy straight away they said your visa will be rejected there is no chance to go to usa okay. so they didn't even accept my application as a consultancy they will get money still they rejected me okay. i was little bit nervous because of their attitude and all no yeah. but it's the most difficult of profiles like what we are seeing right especially mm-hmm. this fall 2020 the most yeah. complicated of profiles when presented in a very genuine mm-hmm. simple way visas have been yeah. so It's just about your story. It has to be correct. The things should fall in place uh, in a structured manner. Structured yeah. manner. Then you can get it. Yeah. So I really hope that this interview experience and Gautam's tips have helped you. If you do want to get in touch with him and understand more about his experience, we are going to leave the link for his LinkedIn profile right below. You can contact him. The purpose of sharing this interview experience was. to make you understand that though a rejection is disheartening it's not permanent with the right fix and strategy it can be turned into an approval if you want to work one to one with me there are other ways to do that as well so do check all the links in the description box you can book a one to one consultation session which helps in clearing your doubts structuring your answers getting you ready for the interview or a mock session which is going to give you the practice and the answer check which you need before your actual interview There are lots of free resources as well so we have collated a lot of free PDFs which are going to help you in your prep do check all of it in the description box below that's all for this video thank you so much for watching if you have any more questions feel free to leave them in the comment box or dm me on instagram my handle is at shachi.mal that's all for today but we have more content coming up to help you overcome f1 visa rejection so stay subscribed and i'll see you in the next one bye